Hope it was power here to review the Kai Sentai Zenkai Jir Gashapon Sentai Gear Set 06. So if we can pull the pamphlet out. So I keep getting these upside down. So they still just only have Zenkaiser and two Kaiser. I did not realize they're actually holding Sentai Gears. Um, I kind of wish they did change them to their super forms because I think with from four and no from five and six they that's how they're promoting them. But anyways. And here's the lineup, the metallic being two Kaiser. And the spheres or the capsules that they get they got released in are these yellow ones. So again, pretty neat overall. Again, um, this is the this was the final set that got released in October, because I think I apologize, I haven't been saying when these got released. So, I think, I think Gashapon 4 was August. And Candy Toy 4 was also August, I believe. And then Gashapon 5 was September and Gashapon 6 was October. So, here we have the lineup of Jacka, Gallo 5, Dynaman, Change Man. Five man and Gekki Ranger. So this basically completes our pre G Ranger Sentai's and one that they didn't release for some reason. <laughs> so, whoops, that's too much. So here we obviously have Jacka Zero Two. There's Spade Ace. Um, you know it's great to actually finally have. The majority of these guys, honestly. So zero or V zero seven. The notches. And <laughs> here's uh goggle five zero six with goggle red. Um yeah. Uh this was the third year to be used within the show, and it got released in the last wave. Uh, this is V12. Again, with the pre Jew Ranger Sentai logos, I really do like how they look on here. Oops. <laughs> and next up, uh, what are directly after Goggle 5? We got Dynaman. Zero seven 7 Dino Red. I really like how they got this on him. I did not realize it until the demo. That really looks neat. There's the team's logo, V13. Next up, Change Man 09. Change Dragon. I always thought the Change Man logo looked like a car, like something from a car. <laughs> v15, like a Toyota, something like that. Or a Han, I don't You know, like it just looks like it will be something for a car. <laughs> and our last pre G Ranger team. Five man, number 14, with five red. V21. Then our last Sentai gear, or Gashapon at least, uh, Geki Ranger, number 31, with Geki red. Always like their suits, and I really like the I always like their logo too. V40. Let's get the gear earlier. Here we go for the last set. So, Chaka.
find it weird they gave Jacka the like that. This I don't know what that one is named because I they're cyborgs, so it's like you would have think they would have been like electric or something. Then we're given the mystic power <laughs> for Goggle 5. Obviously, I'm not doing the finishers for more than one Dynaman. So there, that's the electric power. That's why I would have assumed Jacko would obtain <laughs> Change Man. Space power? <laughs> I think that's also space power. Last but not least, Gecky Ranger. Obviously, fighting power. I forgot to switch them to the Kikai sides. So... <laughs> Obviously, that's
change, man. Last but not least, So, um, that'll have to do with that set. Again, I feel like I don't really cover these that well, because I feel like I'm just not showing enough, even though, just watch the demo if you want, <laughs> literally everything, but, um, again, um, this is a pretty nice set overall, um, you know, this set is very different from the others, because it's mostly pre Drew Ranger teams, because, they just shoved them all into here. Um, I think Kiki Ranger is just the weird lone uh, post G Ranger. Um, uh, <laughs> post G Ranger Sentai. Uh, but yeah, overall, um, this is a nice way of. Finally completing all the Sentai Gears, because that's kind of the whole point of this set. You finally completed your Sentai Gear collection. One collection, at least. Um, and, basically, I guess that means I should probably actually talk about, you know, just how I thought of Sentai Gears overall. Because this is technically the last video of traditional Sentai Gears. Um... Like, again, I guess before I get into that, just obviously, like, I do recommend picking this set up. It, it's, it varies from how easily obtainable it is, at best. Um, you know, try to find Mandarake or Makari, or hopefully... No, I don't think Tokolikos has this anymore. But anyways, um, just my thoughts on the Sensei Gears overall, I really enjoyed it. I like... The, I like that they did another anniversary gimmick, and it was actually fun to be able to collect it while it was airing, even though I'm three years behind on Tokusatsu. Um, you know, it, I like what I said before, like even I think when Cure Major was airing, like I was already preparing to like just buy all in into the 45th anniversary, despite what it was and such. Even though, like, I guess my thing with Sensei Gears is that I think it, I know it would have been way too on the nose if they were literally just, like, ride watches again, but I still would like Sentai to at least go back into having a gimmick with sounds. Because I think, I think they need another shot at that. Like, the first time was just kind of a miss, so it's just, like, I just really want to see them again. Or see Sentai tackle gimmicks with sound again but different that's a different topic but i just really like how simple the sensei gears are you know obviously like they're not like the ranger keys where they actually represent literally everyone these ones are obviously a lot more condensed and such which i don't mind personally because it makes it a lot easier to collect and i just that's kind of the thing i liked about zenkaiju just how easy Obviously, for the most part, when if you're when if you were buying into it during the year, it was just pretty easy just to like buy into, and you know if you're only getting the role play stuff, you're off the hook. <laughs> like Zenkaiger's toy line, 
like this is kind of like you know a hit or miss thing but it was like Senkaiju's toy line like main DX toy line was very small like role play wise you only had like technically three you only had th or, not three you had like four because you had the gear linger the buckle then the two or the two kai buckle <laughs> then you had the gear linger and the zenkai ju gear so you those were the only four things within the dx line because everything then you had like four mechs <laughs> So, like, Zenkaiju overall is, like, pretty inexpensive to buy into. But, obviously, it's the fact that, you know, the Sentai Gears are, like, more abundant outside of the DX line. That kind of makes it difficult. I really would have preferred if they actually did do DX sets. But, honestly, I think it's... Actually, I, again, I'm fine with the way they distributed it. Distribute it. Because we at least got everyone. <sighs> in like a relative manner. But, um... I think DX sets would have helped a lot more. But, like, you know, I guess... I understand that they didn't want to... Or they just didn't have the confidence of doing... Or those selling. Also, it's just kind of like... I guess my... Uh, my thing is that I've already seen this so much before, but I just do not like the shine of gold that the Gashapons are compared to everything else within the line. Which is why, to me, it's just kind of unfortunate the majority of the Sentai Gears are Gashapon because they're this ugly gold shine. And then you get the DX and Candy Toy Gears, and they're consistent with each other. <laughs> so it's just, you know, you get this nice, like, gold chrome, and then you get, and here it's like this dull yellow, or like, well, the other ones are yellow, but like, these ones are more, like, darker for some reason, and it's just, I just don't like that personally. So that's the, again, that's the only thing I really do not like about uh, the Gashapon gears. But, like, other than that, like, you know, obviously having all 45 of these would be nice to have together. I still have yet to do that myself <laughs> because literally when I got these, I just stored them right away. Um, but I guess I should have mentioned this. Obviously, if you don't feel like if you don't want to bother trying to hunt down each set of these. Obviously, you can, if you have the money, you can buy into the die-cast Sentai Gear set. That's, like, I think of nearly, like, $300. You get everyone, but, you know, everything's die-cast. So, um, have fun risking the metal. <laughs> and, obviously, we have another variation to go through but obviously I missed the pre-orders on those so you're not going to get the videos on those until like at best two years <laughs> so um it depends on my schedule honestly but yeah um Zenkaiju was pretty fun collecting honestly and I'm definitely looking forward to Dawn Brothers I know I have like two more days worth of these videos but you know this is like again the last like video that I'm, we're going to be covering traditional gears so yeah that'll have to do with this review so this is power and i'll leave you people bye